hey guys apoc here welcome back to the channel uh i got another content creator with me uh he's been killing it especially in the gilby guild in the demon soldier area he is my definite go-to for the uh uh guild B guild and uh demon soldiers so uh welcome to the show or the channel mike well, introduce yourself <laughs> what is going on it is go time now you are on the apocalypto channel so i hope you <laughs> have a great time it is a pleasure to be here my man how goes it man how goes it uh it's awesome man it's awesome so i appreciate you being here man uh you know i still watch your channel a lot you know and i recommend your channel and and all your uh videos a lot to the guys in stream because sometimes like guys i will be struggling at some of that stuff and i'll be like yo i need to check out another mortar mic video man <laughs> but you know what's so, good though thanks I will for helping say, me out I, with all that stuff though man i gotta bounce that back too because i appreciate that i love thank you Gill, like the amount of crusades and mortal codex all the stuff i love it but i love the fact that you consistently live stream i think that's awesome because <laughs> I appreciate that. if i ever want to just jump into a conversation one of the first things i do is check to see if somebody's live streaming and it makes it so much easier to like talk about a topic or like say hey i like that or hey that's dope or what do you think of this or did you beat that person or beat that content and then you could just click a button and show it. i had to get into it i'm not in the live streaming yet but you all <laughs> one of the people whenever you're live streaming you guys if you guys are watching this stuff you'll see me hop into the live stream and like jump into the chat and stuff. So I do it pretty often. <laughs> awesome. Yeah. And I always appreciate that, man. Yeah. Anybody's always welcome. And that's the thing. I know a lot of guys on the live stream will say, well, I don't know if I should say anything. Uh, I, I would usually use this hero, but I don't know if I want to let man say everything in the chat. That's what it's hey, for. Eric. Let somebody know. You know what I mean? You got a strat right. that I ain't doing. Say it. And I think that's fun. That, that's that's engaging. It's fun. It's like hanging out with your boys. You know what I mean? And, and you're having right. a good conversation. And so I like it. Well, it's necessary. It's necessary. You got to have a community in a game like this. If you don't have a community, you would be upset and losing lonely. It's not fun. You got to talk to people. Right, right. So with this video, this is actually what we wanted to do. We wanted to talk about the state of the game with new content. I know we've had a ton of new content hit the game lately. Uh, some of it is so new that, you know, a lot of us are still kind of figure out, you know, we have the Gear Dungeon 1 and 2. Gear Dungeon 1's been out for a little while now. Gear Dungeon 2, you know, a lot of people are still trying to figure out how to get that going. We've got mm -hmm. the, uh, what is it called? Uh, the Demon Crusades. And then we get yes. this other guy, Samara, Samara, how do you say it? Samara, is it Samara? It's funny, I, th I think it's Simra. I just say Simra. Titanic Ruins Simra. because I remember Titanic. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, Titanic. So yeah, I that guy, you know, we got all I kinds of stuff. Like Introducing the ultimate gear for military fans and gaming enthusiasts alike. The Death Aider Pro Gaming Mounts dominate the realms with precision and speed, tailored for your gaming needs. Feel the magic in your hands with every click and movement. With the Razer Black Widow Pro Gaming Keyboard, unleash your full potential with this mechanical beast. Experience lightning fast responsiveness and performance you can drive into the world of Watcher of Realms. I caught him some like terribly wrong names in one of my videos. It was awful. <laughs> I called him Shenlong. That's like a Gundam. Like I Shenlong. knew it was wrong. <laughs> All right, let's go. Let's start. Let's, let's go over um, here. Let's go over the uh, gear raids, man. We'll take a yes. look at some of this new content over here, right? This is the new gear raid. I've only got Ooh, up to I four. I see you. I see you. I see yeah, you, sir. I got it. I got it going. I still need to get uh, these two guys going. These are the cool kids yeah. uh, area. You know what I mean? I ain't quite one of them yet, but... <laughs> I like it. this. I will say this starting with Gear Dungeon 2. Um, this is more surface combo about Gear Dungeon 2 because I've I have not dabbled far into it yet, but I've watched a lot of people make content about it, which is what I love learning different ways to go about the content. Because when I first did Gear Dungeon 1, I did not watch any guides on how to be great at it. And so I got to like um I got I beat three. Oh, my son's at the door. He's having a rough time. He's gonna make it, brother man. He's gonna make it. <laughs> um, but I beat three and then I beat four, but I didn't beat four or three stars. And I was just like, let me just see how difficult this content gets. Talking about it, like I did Gear Dungeon One. I didn't watch a single guide on it because I wanted to just, you know, experience how hard the content was. Yeah, and it's yeah. tough, challenging. I beat three. 
I beat four, but I didn't three star four. And that was the furthest I got without watching the guide. Because so I was like, let me see. There's a lot of people that play the game and say the content's too easy or I've beaten it already. What's next? You probably watch the guide. Because this is yeah. not easy content to just figure out and just, hey, I've done it. Most people that beat that content playing this game like full time and learning how to beat this stuff. So I think with Gear Dungeon 2, what I like is that this time I'm going through watching guides before I start it. I haven't touched it yet, but I watched a lot of content. I was like, huh, okay, physical and magical damage matter. They might multiply or does less damage. It become power. I was like, hmm, I like that it's a different option, but. I will say this too. There's been the argument that people don't like that you only get 100 keys um, per gear dungeon now. I'm of the opinion, and it may be a hot take, I love it. Because now <laughs> you have 200 keys, and then they gave us 30 more master keys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you can farm the master keys in gear raid one, two, and three. I don't think artifact material raid. But you can farm the master keys so you can do more in the dungeon that you prefer and they don't expire. So, like, I love that option of, like, hey, I can get, if I'm not good at Gear Dungeon 1 and I'm good at Gear Dungeon 2, then, boom, I can go in Gear Dungeon 2 and farm all of those and not just sit on a whole bunch of keys I cannot use. And then I can just do the lower levels on the other one and, okay, now I can go into the shop. And you see inside the shop there's so many things. You can only buy, like, one or two things when you're playing it. But now I can buy a bunch of the stuff and work yeah. my way through it. Like that's great. If I beat a level six or something, I unlock the next area of the shop. Yes, I did it through this other content. I prefer that. And there's right. two more coming too, but that's a different conversation. That's another conversation. Oh wow, there is. I didn't even know about that one. Jeez. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's it's got the scoop. So, <laughs> here, here's the reason that I know. Here's the reason that I know. So if you go back one screen, um, click, yeah, right here. So um click go right here on Gear Dungeon One. Mm -hmm. And look at the shape of the key. It's in the shape of a diamond. Now go to Gear Dungeon 2. Triangle. There's actually oh. four, there's four different shapes in the game's code, which means there's four different gear dungeons that they're going to be oh. rotating. So there's four of them all together coming. So they're tough, but I love the option of them rotating two of them out. And you could just choose which ones you're really good at knocking those bad boys out and getting your rewards for the month. So I okay. think that's great. You get, I mean, you can do 125 keys or you can do 230 because they gave you 30 more and guarantee you can get a lot more of those rewards that's in the shop, which is going to help you unlock better gear and stuff like that. I think it's great. It's more that you're getting. You'd be mad if it was 100 keys in one dungeon. They're giving you more ways to get more rewards. That's my rant. That's my rant. That was long. It wasn't you even know, on the strategy for Gear Dungeon. <laughs> <laughs> it's just what I like yeah. about the state of the game. <laughs> I, I like it, though, you know, because that's what this is. You know, we're not running the actual stages right now, but we're, we're, we are talking about some of the issues that a lot of people's run into or, or people, issues that people are having with these, you know. And I have not, obviously, you can see here, I haven't had a chance to run this one yet. So I'm, I'm excited yeah. about this. I'm staying away from the guys. I know a lot of awesome creators have already made good videos, but I'm trying to stay away from it and get that raw opportunity to come up with a strategy of my own, right? So I'm really mm -hmm. waiting on that, and that's what I'm holding off on this one. I usually wait until I come to a point where I just cannot pass by myself, and then I start looking up uh, guides. Okay, how do they do that? What do, what do I need to do, right? What, what hero do I need? And so mm -hmm. I was able to get all the way to three by myself, and then I had to look up a guide for four, I end up using like yeah. a combination of like four different people's gods for, for my team, I guess. Yeah, and you have then, to because you don't have the champions they always have. Like, right, I still right, don't right. have an Elwin or a Valkra. You know how hard oh, it is yeah, to be Valkra. so much content oh, in the game yeah. without those two? I can't. Guilty gets without harder you, without Valkra. Bro, <laughs> I tough, bro. Yeah, Valkra, oh. man. <laughs> uh, I, I remember I was, uh, it was a buddy of mine I was doing a, uh, uh, a takeover for or whatever and uh, doing it on. And he didn't have Valka either. And it was like, oh, man, I was trying to use Zilla 2 and everything in the back. And it was a yeah. rough. We finally made it, but it was rough, man. It was a lot of work. <laughs> and, and so I, I do got to say that I really like the new content, the fact that it, it, it's making you use heroes that wouldn't normally be used in other content. I can really, I really mm. appreciate that. I love that. But on the flip side is if you don't have that one hero, then some of this is just not going to happen. Like, you just ain't going to yeah. <laughs> that and just I is think what that it that's is. fair. I think that that should be the definition of in-game content. 
If you're in, not true, in game, in game you should be able to beat right. the in game difficulties. But I do like that, you know, even without in game champions, you can still beat one through three and yeah. get some yeah. kind of reward. And now you can do it in two different dungeons and get some kind of reward that allow you to unlock, you know, get some of the, um, I don't know what you get at stage three inside the shop, but you can get ancient gear. I don't know ancient gear. I know you can get mythical gear from there. You can get the yeah. um the reforge hammer. You can get mm -hmm. XP. You can get all kinds of stuff. You can still get the um stuff to roll the new gear, like the sanguine yeah, right here, fabric right and border and scales. You can still get all of those things, and that helps you enhance your account. And now you can still do it, even if you're not an in-game player. Now stage six is going to be reserved for those that have either invested more in the game or are deep in the strategy or have a bigger collection. It should. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. It would yeah, not be good if in-game players don't have something they can define as actual in-game to be good at. You know, then it's just like, okay, why am I still playing this game? I'm going to drop off, and you won't see any more guides, you won't see any more player base, and you start to see the game decay. You have to have something that isn't accessible <laughs> to everyone on the end level, but everybody can still play to some extent and have fun with it. Like, I, can, I don't have Valkyra, so I know I'm not beating stage six yet. I don't, I can't get the little bit of damage I need on, um, on Vienna, I'm so close, but I don't think it's, I don't even know if it's possible to get more damage on Vienna at this point. <laughs> <laughs> you done min max her so much, bro. I'm oh, min max I, I got the outfit and everything, there's no other way. <laughs> I got the outfit and everything, <laughs> got the dress got and all. Point I gave everything I had. <laughs> what else awesome, do you man. want from me? <laughs> That's awesome. Uh, I never did get her uh, her skin, man. I should have. Uh, I got Captain Radius, but I should have got hers. Oh, uh, man. Um, <laughs> that was good stuff, though. But no, I, I agree. I definitely agree, man, because that's the thing is, is you want. Well, I, I think I think people need to remember that this is not a, a 30 day game. You know, this is not one of those days. I mean, games that you buy or you you, you download and, and you start playing in 30, 45 days, you finished it and you move on the next. Right. Yeah, th that's not sure. that's not this game right this is one of those very long-term games those accounts that you build year over year as new updates come out new heroes new content and, and you start to develop a fat roster right i think mm -hmm. people kind of get the wrong idea by watching content creators is you see a lot of like, like, like our accounts you know our accounts look stacked compared to the average guy and yeah, they're yeah. like oh i've got to have an account like that in order to do this type of stuff I need to spend money or I need to do this or or maybe they just get upset because all oh, this game's garbage. I pulled 20 summons and didn't get a legendary. Oh, I'm That's quitting, like, you know. <laughs> give it like give like give it a moment to be in like I, what I want people to do, I don't want new game players to have in-game attitudes. I don't yes, think that's fair like to that. yourself. Like if you haven't like played that. this game for like 3 months, please don't tell me that this stage is like too difficult. You you have two level 60 champions and one's lower. <laughs> like you're making mistakes still. You're in that phase. Like, yeah, take, yeah. Take your time and enjoy the content. Don't soak up all the end game hearsay of this and that and this and that. If you hear somebody say a champion's not good, try to find another content creator that says if a where the champion can be good at. That's what I did a lot of. Um, I try not to say if champions are bad. I may say like somebody like a um, what's the name the the fish guy is is an epic uh, harpoon. I may say I oh, don't yeah, use him. Yeah. That's all you got. That's all you got. Let me show you yeah, how to use him. Yeah. Yeah. Or you know, Edith was oh people hated the thought of Edith, but she's great <laughs> in the earliest stages of Gear Dungeon too. Like she's like, but if you hear that from an in-game perspective, you're gonna get that guy or get that chick or get that champion to think they're not good. When they're the key to the problems that you have, like I think it was um Vienna, best example I got. Um, I mentioned it in the chat before this video. I pulled Vienna, and in the video, I did a video of it. In the video, when I pulled her, I said this out loud. I said, "I'm so glad to have this champion, and I'm not. I don't even plan to play with them." I said that because I knew that she gave a bonus for Silas. I wasn't even thinking about using her, and then Gear Dungeon 1 comes out. Um, I couldn't beat it any further, so I teamed up with Destin. We op we, we offered some stuff, thumbnail designs and stuff, you know, the general trade yeah. content trade, you know, <laughs> the formal currency. The and so, and he jumped in my account and absolutely shredded my builds and built Vierna into one of the best champions of my account. 
And as a result, he knocked out the next two stages of Gear Dungeon. But I was like, hey, I have Comet, I have Boreas, I have all these other options, but there's different utilities that you need. And Vierna being able to get that extra kill at 35% health was necessary to beat that yeah. content way more than the other options could. So I love the fact that, like, hey, even, you know, if you have these champions, you're thinking, oh, they're not the greatest, they're not the meta. It's not the case. Find out where they're good at. I use Azor and Conqueror Codex. Azor is one of the most hated champions in the game. <laughs> one of the most hated champions in the game. Can we agree? There's no <laughs> disagreement there. He's, he's, he's a rough fine. champion, man. <laughs> only time we like to see him is in wearing the Forge. That is it. <laughs> only time I like to see yeah. him. But even him, I used him because I didn't have a Constance, and he substituted as my Captain Rev. That's literally what he did, and he helped me get to, like, double S. Like, I didn't have a Valkyrie, I didn't have an Ardea, but I found a use for the guy. So I will tell players that are new to this game, don't look for content just to see if the champion is good or bad. Find out where they're good, because you'd be surprised. Um, I even did it. I, so not even trying to make it a me thing, but that was one of the videos, the relay video. Um, it was I said like D tier, I think not, and I picked five champions and oh, showed yeah, where yeah, I yeah, used I remember them. that video. Yeah. Yeah, because I don't want to tell people that champions are off. I want to say where I actually put them to work because you might have them and don't know it. And you're like, oh my roster sucks. I can't beat this content. When you got two epics that have been waiting for you to level up. Aveline yeah. and Tazira came back in this game, people. Yeah. Aveline and Tazira. Yeah. Lady <laughs> Perry and, and 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 fast arrow chick made it back. I said Lady Perry, Katie Perry, and then... <laughs> <laughs> They made a comeback oh, because they Katie made his back. That's seriously Katie Perry. I don't care anybody say it. That's Katie Perry with a with a horse, with a horseback. That's her. That's hilarious, man. Oh, that's good stuff. Uh, so I'm sorry, bro. I'm a ranter, bro. I'm like, I'm like, I love it. Bill Burr when he gets on the topic, bro. I don't let it go. I love that guy, dude. I, I, that boy will rant off to some things that just hit your soul. You're like, yes. He, yes, he, he he's my spirit animal. <laughs> it is, bro. Like, it's just he. Like I, I, I enjoy this game, but I want people that are playing this game to not have an in game, not in game attitude earlier into the game. Like enjoy it. Like watch your roster build up. I will get hyped if I like. I think Fastidious right now because everybody knows that is. He's still trying to get a Shamir, a champion people yeah. hate, but he has a use for him, which is faction trial, which just allows him to beat the last area in the game he's trying to beat. Like, yeah. there's reasons that people can enjoy this stuff. So, you know, don't just get a quick personality off of somebody else. Take a moment, try them out yourself. I literally made an apology video for Azor. How? <laughs> in what world do you know people do that? And then I showed me using him, and I showed me getting a good score with it in the first time I played it. Like, that's what you want to be able to do when you play the game. Test the stuff out and try it out. You know, you get some fast forward buttons with us, which is great, but I recommend you enjoy the game for yourself and try out some stuff and see what you really like. I definitely you know, recommend see, it. That's, um, um, I don't know if you've seen it. It was, uh, I made a how to build and use Cade. Um, Cade is not yeah. a, a phenomenal I want that hero. Guy, by the way. I want him, by the way. <laughs> He's funny. He's he, is. he really is. And, and, yeah. and, and I think this just goes back to what people, they they have to broaden their 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 view on what to expect from a hero. So many people mm -hmm. are used to seeing a comet or a Silas or you know whatever every, uh, every, every and and yep. you can put that hero all by themselves anywhere and it takes care of business, right? You know that, mm -hmm. you know, that that's their thing. They're, that's what they do. But then you have certain heroes like Dolores. You couldn't put a Dolores out there and and, and wipe a level, right? She ain't gonna do nothing, right? But you no. put her with the right team. And all of a sudden, it's phenomenal, right? And, and that's kind yeah. of the way Kate is. Kate is garbage by himself, but you yeah. put him out there with some other magic guys, and the combinations that go on between, like I oh, never, I don't God. even know the the exact wording or exactly what it is in the game mechanics that happen. But I've noticed it, like when I have Kate, for instance, on the field, and I'm using AI. AI is putting down mm. those little spirit things. Kate's mm -hmm. little magic uh, bird thingy will come over and like enhance them you know what i mean it's yeah. like that's not it doesn't see, say anything on his kid about that it just doesn't see, this is what i like right here what you're talking about is what i'm a big fan of theory crafting thinking of ideas of how to make stuff <laughs> right. awesome 
I got a big theory, bro. I think one of the two, it's gonna be two champions gonna make a huge comeback. This is a hot take because the content's not out yet, y'all. So don't all right, what's don't you got? What's you got? <laughs> all right, so there is a rumor, it's a confirmed rumor because of Destin. Um, there's a rumor. <laughs> Two things. There's a champion that's coming out that Ult turns his block to 20, the unnamed Frost oh, Dragon. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah, number yeah. one. Number two, if there's something in the game that turns the block to 20, that means it's got to be some kind of endless or horde mode coming, right? That's number two. Mm-hmm. And so I'm going to tie, tie that in that he's just been content showed of a green dragon that has platforms in it also. And so I'm willing to believe I'm of the opinion that may be one of those types of bosses where we have an endless horde mode. And I think the Lego Lord I just pulled and one of the most hated chaotic champions in the game are going to make a comeback. I think that this is a hot take, (laughs) y'all. I think that Demi, who's also awesome for gear rate once, let me not. Yeah, I I think Demi's great. I would love her. Demi, but I never see anything about her. I don't see any content saying I need Demi. She's a mate. Like I don't see much. Um, Demi, and here's a controversial one: Durza. I think Durza is going to be another one that's going to be crazy because, believe it or not, Durza is a powerhouse as far as buffs and debuffs. His kit is nuts. Like just you can click Hold it, on. you can see it. His kit oh, yeah. is nuts. I, I gotta look this up. Uh, the problem that people have with Durza is Durza does damage to your champion. What, what is he? Is he a fighter? He's chaotic. Or? Chaotic. Well, he's um, a chaotic mage, I think, and cult is mage. Where is chaotic? Jesus. There's cult is right there. There it is. Yeah. So scroll and click Durza. Which, uh, which one is Durza? Is there, right? there he is in the right, second row, far right. Cute. My face was there covered, so I didn't there see him either. Yeah. <laughs> so My look mouth at the attack. I can't find him. <laughs> I want you to check out the attacks this guy has. I'm actually going to type it along on my other phone here too and look at it. Yeah. So, this damage one, Amy. That's not amazing, right? All yeah. right. Um, look at the talent on the right hand side. That basic attack. Oh, right here. Yeah. Oh, the basic. Yeah, basic talent? attack applies. So, yeah, right under arena mastery buff, no retreat, and all of that. Oh, right here, right here. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Apply so slow. Basic slow so his yeah. basic attack applies slow and he gains attack speed increase when attacking enemies inflicted with slow so he's oh, already wow, going to yeah. be attacking fast to begin that's his initial attack now go into his ult this is what people hate about the ult but i'm going to show why it's insane so it deals 50 percent of the current hp of allies in range it doesn't kill any of your champions it does 50 percent of damage to them so it saps a bunch of health from them but if it's content where your towers and your champions aren't being damaged, that does not matter. Yeah. So I would be interested to see how that applies. And that also could be reduced a whole bunch. The cost goes down too. But it gives everybody attack speed increase. And it also deducts more of this stuff as well, which sounds bad. Click the next ability. Mm. Like it's nice. Mm. So during his ultimate, when any ally in range receives damage, which is what he does, <laughs> and yeah. if they get hit at all, there is a 20%, and I think that books to a 30% chance to deal 90%, which de- books to 120% AOE damage to their nearby enemies and inflict vulnerable, vulnerable magic damage. and vulnerable physical damage at the same time. And check out the duration, three seconds And that's each. the 20% too. That's not the 10 to 15 or not. That's the 20%. Exactly. That's nice. That's 20% damage bonus you give on everybody around them. So that means you basically turn everybody on the map that's within his range into an EMP of damage. Oh, yeah. If they get hit, they do damage. Even if they're not getting hit, they're still doing EMP attacks to hit the stuff that's nearby, which is nice. Next, you got one more thing to check. <laughs> so if any allies HP drops below 50%, and you could bring that up to bring the threshold to like, um, like 75, I think. So... They basically always will have it. Um, you know, during his ultimate, they will receive damage increase. Click to see how much that damage increase is. 30%. Yeah. Jeez. Bookable, bookable to 50% damage increase. Oh, yeah. <laughs> they get a 50% Jesus. damage increase just because he popped his ult. 
and and his and his regular attacks already apply slow, and everything that comes near them gets AOE damage done to them. And, and you gotta remember, you know, like max uh, uh, artifacts are like giving you like 20, 30 percent. This is 50. And this Jesus. is separate. This isn't this isn't attack, this isn't AOE damage, that is damage in general. Ooh, so nice. that is yeah. like that's for everybody that deals damage gets that increase of 50 percent. <laughs> so here's what's also awesome about that, too. That also may, if I'm not mistaken, that may also apply to healers. Because healers can just have high attack. If they're being attacked, they could do the AOE damage. So if it's an isolated platform, anything going by that healer that hits, even if they're getting healed, they're doing AOE damage to everything going by. So oh. I'm just saying. Almost like a read lock well. art type thing. Exactly. It doesn't read well when you first like, you know, look at it like, oh, the oat is so costly. But the damage this guy's gonna be able to do is nice. And then combining that with um uh, with Demi's her Lord skill, every time you get a kill, it stacks the damage you can do. So the numbers can go up, I think, like, up to three times, which is really good damage. It's, it's more than Morgan at its peak. It's more than Morgan, which is awesome. But um, yeah, like stuff like this is going to become really interesting comps to see how does this play out. Like, how does this champion that people will just ignore? Yeah, there's his dad's, there's his dad head. <laughs> yeah, 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 right there, it's chilling out. That's his, <laughs> that's his actual dad's head. So dude is brutal. I wonder if it was gone in the past life. I don't know. But um, <laughs> family problems. Jesus, man. <laughs> exactly. But like that's the kind of stuff I see, and I'm like, hmm. People say the champion's not good now. I used him in early guild boss. That fifty percent damage increase got me through the third shield on Nightmare Four and guild boss until I can get like a Leia, until I can get other comps together. So it's not that the champion is not good. It's where is the champion good? Where do you use them? So yeah, recycling, you know, not recycling, but recircling back to that combo. Like, I like to find out how these champs' kits work. Desomi is one of the most hated champions in the game um, because they're chaotic exclusive or on the right-hand side, top row, second one, second one to the right. The oh, Lizard. Oh, oh. All right. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> one of the most hated champions in the game because people don't really know, you know where to place them. One of the top three champions. I will, I'm. I stand on that. One of the top three champions for the healer codex. <laughs> really? One of the wow, top. Okay. Three, and it's not even a healer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't have but, this one, so I, I haven't played with her yet. Yeah, oh, wow, but okay. they're, one one they're really hard to get. That's another reason people don't like them. But um, people only said there were like only three debuffers in the game. This champion is a debuffer, but you doesn't. If you don't click the buttons, you don't see it. But just look at the regular attack. And then just the ult. That's all we really got to see. There's even more to it. So click the, yeah, just click the regular attack um, and click what magic instance is. Yeah, that's there. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We do right there. So you see how long it lasts? Six seconds, right? So yeah. if it's higher than 50%, it gets rid of debuffs. If it's lower, it gets rid of debuffs and heals them up to 50% HP. So that's not a big heal for healer codex, right? Did you see that every two seconds it gets rid of a debuff? Yeah, I was it. Otherwise, restores HP, right? Exactly. And so restores HP. So. Exactly, he's constantly getting rid of debuffs. He's the best debuffer. He's the best debuffer mover in the game, bar none. And his hmm. um, he ha he also has the range of vortex when you prom when you promote him up. And his ultimate, just to see, because there's more to it. His defense increases, inspiration he has in his kit too. Yeah, he has all that. But looking at the oh, ultimate, yeah. look at the range. Nuts. Healer Codex. He heals. Half, he keeps debuffs of half a team. You can run <laughs> yeah, yeah. a Disomi and a Medan. But um, the ultimate, he can do two more allies. So he can do it to three allies at once, consistently getting rid of um, the buffs. And then he has potent magic incense that does it every one second. So when they oh, fall yeah, below half health, here. they turn off. What's that? Yeah, yeah. yeah when yeah. They, fall below, they fall below um 50%, they turn off. So if they're going to like 40, 30, 20%, this buff is sitting on them for six seconds. Every second is healing or removing a debuff. So yes. it doesn't equate to high heals, but it equates to fast heals to keep your guys back in the fight. It's nuts. I'm just saying. I'm just yeah. Saying. That was the same thing with uh, what's her name? A Aylin? A what's her name? Where's the healers at? I want Aylin. I want Aylin so much because she's a strong behind freaking healer. I think she's AOE, she, right? She yeah, really is. Attacks attack space healing oh, and everything. Yeah. But the the big thing about it is this divine moonlight. This sucker mm. here, man, it just stacks and stacks and stacks and stacks and stacks and stacks and stacks and, stacks and, stacks and, stacks and, stacks and it just gets ridiculous. 
50 times because of 50 times and that's just the multiplier right and then you come over here and look at this it says when triggered increases the hero uh hero's healing multiplier by 70 percent and speeds up healing by 100 percent for 15 seconds i was like good lord is there anybody else that needs healing <laughs> like i want just, this champion by the way. I, even stacking. though somebody's, somebody's like oh the banner's not good i want that champion <laughs> yeah I, I i love her man i can't i can't uh doubt and this is also something that people miss where is it something around here that she actually was it awaken i can't That's remember crazy. she actually has she a has, um, that she is mom already included in a kit if i'm not mistaken or or, or um bright root ring and the awaken That's nuts. She does a reduction in um, physical damage, physical mm. damage reduction. Um, so it's great putting them around tanks. They're taking physical damage yeah. as well, right? Not only is she doing outstanding healing, but then she, uh, uh, you know, does the stacking, and then she does the physical damage reduction. You know, it's just an amplifier multiplication on multiplication on multiplication. It's sick. I it's really it. sick. As long as you're using her right. Yeah, like, and it's, it's funny because like, like you always wonder right? like you always wonder like what like this is what I like about the game is that the kits are very unique. So yeah, you could pull an Ella one, she's great for rage, she does this extra healing and stuff, she's probably the best in the game, sure. But man, there's instances where Aelin could probably outheal her for a certain area. Or there's right, areas right. we could do like I love that idea of these champions have their niches where they're awesome. So y'all went on we went on such we went on such a rant. State of the game, <laughs> Jersa, <laughs> Denny. Aylin, the Sony. Well, speaking of which, let, let's circle back around to uh, gear raids, uh, you know, yeah. the, the newer gear raids, because this is where this guy comes in. You know, it's a guy that was expected to only be used in something like gear raid one or, or maybe just yes. niche uh, type stuff. But all of a sudden, you got a, all of his rage region and stuff popping off. He is mm -hmm. a go to character for gear raid four. You That's know what true. I mean? That's a go to hero. And it's one of those things where. You don't have to have this character in order to make it, obviously, but it, it really helps. And it's just one of those things where a lot of people may have had this character and never really used them. And all of a sudden now, because of the new content, this hero has a, a an almost everyday use in that type of content, you know? Yeah, I, can really I agree appreciate 100%. That. I think that's I think that's a good point too. Um I use them. I use them in the content. And I actually I, I think I use them in Guild v Guild. He wasn't doing very well, but I used them. But <laughs> But like, yeah, uh, you're right. Like, I like that they're adding this stuff, and it doesn't make the champion like, oh, this is a meta champion. You gotta use them because people are beating the content before new champions are coming out. So it shows it's possible. Yeah. But yeah. as a benefit to, ooh, this is a different conversation. State of the game. Um, <laughs> not you know, not taking the hot takes on whether the champion is good or not before they're out. Ooh. Yeah. That's, you know what? There's I'm, a lot. I, I gotta admit, I'm a, a little, lot of, I'm a little guilty on that one, man. Um, oh, yeah, I, I, it's funny. I, I I am too, but there's a <laughs> lot of people right now that's mad that it didn't pull for Edith right now. And Gary Dungeon Two is a nice place that's on the bottom lane. She can push that thing away that stops all that damage. And you can keep pushing. And see say what you like, say. Um, you got a we got this uh, Dahlia, new hero Dahlia coming out. Yeah, um, I was super excited about her. She looked cool. She looks sexy, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? And everything looked Everybody great, and so I was all about it, you know? And yeah. um, then finally I saw these guys from the test servers come out and was able to play with her, and it was just like subpar, man. I was just not, not excited. You know what's now, funny about that, too? So I got to actually mention this in the case of Dahlia. I'm glad you mentioned that. So <laughs> I'm so glad you actually mentioned that because I ended up playing on the test server. So I'm playing Titanic Ruins on the test server. And, you know, you can build up your champions really quick and try them out for stuff. I put Dahlia on the right-hand side facing left and let her just put all her blossoms in the front. All of the blossoms do damage to the boss because oh, their AOE really? damage they actually, they actually hit outside of the tile. So they're hitting the boss, all three of the blossoms, like doing damage to the boss at the same time along with her regular attack. So it can oh. make for some interesting damage comps. I'm just saying, it can make for some interesting comps. But it does take that tile spot up, so you can't beat that. But it's interesting seeing different ways to try this champion out because first I was like, oh, this is going to be like a Gear Dungeon 2 solution, and, you know, we're going to keep it moving. I'll find us. I'm ready to use her and that, um, whatever that green dragon thing is. I'm ready. I'm like, I'm ready, bro. Like, see, that, just, you, you make you a good point. Crap. <laughs> on, on the Dahlia thing, I was saving for a while for her, but then 
-hmm. once I saw the test, I'm like, all right, I, I blew everything on the Silas banner. <laughs> but <laughs> but I I'm still going to try to get her. That's the thing. I'm still going to attempt yeah. to get her, and I still think everyone should. But I'm just no longer <laughs> super excited thinking that she was going to yeah. be such a huge change to my account. Yeah. But now yeah. I, I, it's just more like the Pokemon type thing. You know, I, I want to catch them Gotta all. Catch right? them I wanna, all. You're right. I, like you make a good point. At some point, the way they're going anyway with this game, at some point, it's going to be very likely that hero is going to be an outstanding hero in some type of new content. So might yeah. as well get them now because you know it's coming. That that was me with um. So I don't use this champion a lot, Falsha. But I figure, ah. you know what? If I go ahead and get this champion, I don't have to worry about the next time it comes out. And I can save for what I want to for the future content instead of, oh, I'm going to pull 50 this time. Oh, I'm going to pull 40. I'm going to pull 60. I'm going to give it a yeah. shot and maybe pull early. <laughs> yeah. No. Yeah. Get the freaking champion and the extra Lego you're going to get along the way, at least one more. And next time it comes out, you don't have to worry about it. And you can go ahead and enjoy your other stuff that's coming. You can start to save up. And you know, have a great time, but like I use her artifact material rate just to play with her. Like there yeah. may be something should be good for one day, but right now, not a lot of content I prefer to use her in. But like it's like, you know, don't get mad. Go ahead and get the guy, you know, <laughs> take your time, save up, get the champion, and then next time the event comes around, there's a lot of people that got fouls for the first time was like, I don't have to do it a second time. I got her and I'm good at where she's at now. Yeah. And that's the that's, thing is yeah. I I've noticed that they're gonna come out with the banners over and over and over again mm -hmm. you know they seem to mix mm -hmm. them up but that, that. they know that not everybody gets the hero every time the banner comes out right yeah some people you got two or three banners before you get that hero it's just the uh, the way you mm -hmm. play the game sometimes um i mean hell i was I first one to admit i was complaining about the summon rates because it was like yeah. three events in a row that i was like two 220 before i hit a lego and i was like Ooh, what the yeah. hell i was so upset <laughs> And especially on Captain Reeves, I saved up so much, dude. I was I fully expected to get a one, fully expected. Ooh. Never happened. Never happened. Mm. I pulled like two hundred and fifty summons and only got one one copy, one Lego, only Lego I got. But anyway, I right. was ever since then I've been complaining because I've just got rough as summons. It just is what it is. But then all of a sudden, like today, I pulled and I got three. I got on. I got two of them on a two. Uh, Double times, uh, you know what I mean? And it was just fire. out of That's nowhere. And, it, and, and, and you were right. Like, if you look at it as a, as a total uh, for your account, right? Not just, hey, this weekend I didn't summon very good. Summoning rates must be garbage, right? But it's over the, 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 Ooh, this the, good the lifetime here. of your account, right? If yeah. you've pulled a thousand summons and you're complaining that you don't have, you know, 10 legendary heroes, well, yes, suck it up buttercup you know what i mean like it's just that's the way it works bro but, but that's so marine corps that's so military right there I, i'm not even mad at it i understand suck it up punch dirt punch dirt yeah, but, kick rocks but that, that's it. just the way I, i've had to learn man because um yeah. i remember when i first started playing things like raid you know i yeah. would pull and pull and pull and pull and pull and pull and just get nobody and to raid garbage so forever much you know me. bro you know that you know how rare it is for you to go through a week on raid and just have 20 summons out of nowhere no yeah. you don't you have 20 yeah. summons if you swipe that master or that visa that's it the only yeah, way to get 20 summons in a week this game yeah. you can actually you can start off on a monday and by 12 noon have 12 new summons like come on you can buy yeah, like really six can. of them in the shop <laughs> i you usually buy have a good 40 to 50 every week that, yeah. that i get just from gameplay yeah, the abundance of what you have to be able to do stuff is wonderful. And I say that in comparison to what I've played before. You have to make a comparison to realize where you're at. If you have not played Raid before this game, trust me, you have no idea what a difference this is compared to that as far as how the UI is, the state of the game like we are talking about before. Like, I can buy stuff in the marketplace that I want. Yeah. yeah. Every, every going rotation back to your hour, gear dungeons and stuff, yeah. Yeah, I can. T I, I come in here. I know I'm tapping probably two to three out of the um top champions up there. I'm collecting them. I might get an extra summon. I might get some of those legendary things. Whatever. Like I love being able not not this one. Thank like this. I leave that one alone. Um, but the um dwarven. <laughs> yeah. Like right oh, wait, now you got go. like seven things you can buy. Look at that. Look at that. Look, Look at all this, man. Yeah, it's somewhere crazy. right there. Yeah, and, and, and then that, you got yeah, the champions right get... at the top. Yeah. yeah. You can get all these two and, and just soak them up, and then look at this five five diamonds, man. That that ain't that ain't much, man. And then yeah. look at that all and over again. 
it's because of stuff you actually want. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You don't know how many times I've had Court of Glory, which I think is the event where you level up your champions. And yeah. I just go in there and I just, you know, level up the champions I already have that I've been collecting in the in here, and I'm halfway yeah. done. Yeah. Ten seconds in the quarter of glory, I'm halfway done with the content. And I'm getting all those rewards because of something that was in the marketplace that like that's the quality of life that you're getting. Um, y'all remember when sticks was tough? How oh, long yeah, did it the take boss. sticks and make it easier for other players? Like the next rotation, right? Yeah. yeah. Y'all remember when Boreas got nerfed? I know we didn't like that. I, I agree. I didn't either. They made yeah. it all, they made it easy for you to rebate all your stuff back if you wanted to. They yeah, did the, the same thing with is, um, is outrageously good. They did the same thing with the freaking epic, the um Nisalk. Nobody yeah, needs yeah. to rebate a Nisalk. Come on. That was yeah. like an overnight fix, too, man. <laughs> They yeah. didn't waste no time. As soon no, as a who, few videos were on that, woo. yeah. <laughs> who needs to rebate a knee saw? Let's be real here. Who, who yeah, playing yeah. this game needs to get their resources back from a knee saw? Come on. It's funny. I think it was uh, <laughs> Quaz that had mentioned it for the, um, uh, I think it was the Corridor of Glory, uh, what it was. So I, yeah. I broke down an assault, the assault, the nothing, and then rebuilt her and then got all my stuff from back. You know what? You're right. So you can get Corridor of Glory for it. That's hilarious. Corridor of Glory. Yeah, 100% right. That's funny. <laughs> yeah. That was a good idea, man. I was like, because I, I, I kept looking at it like, there's, I'm not going to break her down. There's no need. I'm going to use her, right? And then, yeah. you know, he had mentioned it, and I was like, ah. And then, of course, it goes away after that, right? You know, but, uh, um, yeah, no, I was like, that's that's a genius thing to do, right? Yeah, <laughs> it's like, like the whole Boreas. Stuff I was like, like that, who man. in their right mind's going to recycle Boreas? Like, sure, he got a nerf. He's not what he was. Yeah, I got that. I'm I'm a, I'm a fanboy of Boreas myself. I was up to the nerf, yeah. but I still <laughs> use the shit out of that boy, man. Like crazy. <laughs> you know what's funny? So here's it's so funny you say that. This is just random too. Um, in Void Rift, uh, the Lasir boss. I did the D tier, I think not video, and I showed where I used Shamir, and I forgot that I got Boreas after I got Shamir, and Boreas is basically <laughs> doing the entire job by himself. Shamir is there for display purposes only. And I'm like, I remember somebody pointed it out, and I was like, oh my gosh, you're right, because I beat it using Shamir, but now I have no need for him because Boreas does such an amazing job in that area. <laughs> Oh my God! Speaking of which, I'm not I forget the name of it, but this up. is uh, other champions. <laughs> yeah, was it uh um? Where am I looking at? Was it Faction Trials? It's this right here, the basic one. Yo, this level right here, I have cheesed. I can't even look at it. I guess. Um, Boreas on that little Olo. center tile. Yeah, I got and I got him facing left. Uh, I got um, I got Olog, Vortex, and Captain Reeve. That's it. That's, that's, that's all I need. <laughs> that's, that's all I need. Good. That's fire. <laughs> you, you, you two, yeah, you got one healer, two defenders, just to block the ways, and then Boreas just destroys everything. You know, him and Captain Reeve, of course. But yeah, it's it's phenomenal. And it's just it's one of those things like I remember working up to here, you know, I would have a whole team just trying to I'm just trying to survive. Don't let the axe like, photos get too close. They yeah, carve like two or three down. healers trying to fucking survive. It was rough, man. It was like you had to put in work. And, um, and you know now because I've gotten so advanced and because I've, I've I've pushed my artifacts and because I've I've, I've farmed so much gear right now I have the ability to go through and cheese this stage which is really awesome yeah. and it, it, it's good to, like I, I like doing the uh, auto fight but I'll actually watch it just because it, it's it's yeah, pleasing to, to me you know like, what I mean <laughs> you know it's just, just, just like eye candy. <laughs> You know, it's can, funny you say that because it. <laughs> it's funny you say that because there's times where I'll play content and I'm like, oh crap, I left a piece of gear off and they can still knock it off because that's how far along I've progressed. <laughs> yeah, in the yeah, content. yeah. <laughs> that's, it's awesome. I love it, man. Um, that, that, but that just goes with the, uh, you know, back to faction trial real quick. I mean, you, you see my count, dude. My count's pretty stacked, but. Yeah, I, yeah. I still have a ton of these that I'm not. Look, 32, 32. Th what 27 you know what i mean like mm -hmm. 26 infernos Some i feel like these... infernos feel like the hardest one for me you have to have i don't know if infernos feels like the toughest one because you have to have a hex or you have to have like a soak dead so hey sonic yeah he's infernal you have to have a um you have to have a really insane damage dealer to drop that boss's health down quickly pyros can do a good job but there's so many moving parts like i 
Yeah, if yeah, I was going yeah. to be honest, I need a hex. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I got a hex, man. But it's funny, I never use him anywhere outside of Guild Boss. Guild Boss mm -hmm. is pretty much the only thing I use him. Now I'm getting yeah. close. I'm having a hard time, but I'm getting close to Overlord in the arena, and I see everyone using Hex in like every team. So I'm like, maybe I should use Hex. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm at that point, right? Right. But you know, Sorry. stay in the game, man. Stay in the game. It's just always about there's new stuff coming out that that makes mm. you look at some of the things you've been doing for a long time and think, hey, things are a little bit different now. Maybe I can do things differently, or maybe my heroes now have advanced so much because of the work you put into your account. That maybe you can change things up maybe you can do things different right and it was kind of like what we were talking about briefly uh be before we did the video here was i really like yes. the kind of void rift here where this changes all the time all the time yeah. different different cults or or whatever what do you call them um factions i guess yeah like um, look, you're right though you're right like buffs different buffs you get depending on what um level you're at and stuff this is you're yeah. true. This is very true. I agree on this hundred percent. I love that. And and I consider that part of new content because you yeah. can't just come in here and use this. I mean, I guess sometimes you can just use the same team over and over again, but it, eventually it, it you'll get fun. a golden team that can beat it regardless. Eventually. Yeah. But yeah, I love sure. the fact that like it's still to me, that's still a work in and of itself too. Like making yeah. a team that no matter what buff I get, I'm gonna beat it, even if it's not like that's also some in-game stuff I'm after. I want to just tap oh, the button and win everything. Allow me to do that. Oh, I'm, I'm I'm happy then. Oh my god. Well, yeah, it just <laughs> it goes goes right back to um the uh fucking words <laughs> the uh, um gear raid. Yeah, here we go. <laughs> like, like gear raid, man. The these things are are so intense, so intense, and, yes. and you put so much effort into these. You know, I I think a lot of people just look at this and think, oh, okay, I've been playing a game for 30, 45 days. I don't know why I can't beat stage three. This game is BS, you know, or or whatever, or mm -hmm. be upset that oh, I need to get more. Like, dude, this all of this is in in game. These two are in game. Oh, yeah. You should not even be attempting these really until you're like 19 ish on all these three you know yeah like then then you can seriously try to push on this right other than that then come up here get your stage one get your stage two farm these little dungeon crystals and 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 have a good time you know what i mean enjoy yourself <laughs> you it's know? True. It's true. Uh, i like this, that this is like this is the direction i like that people to think about um you know just how much stuff is available to do in the game how much stuff is coming in the game. Like even, even something as simple like the gear dungeons, it's wonderful that you have an area that you can come in there, you can try your luck. Okay, I'm not there yet. Go on to the next thing. You don't have to like, you don't have to get irate about it. Just say, okay, what haven't I done yet? Wait a second, I only have three champions at level 60. Oh, wait a second, I haven't beaten gear rate one and such and such and such yet. I haven't done this like, it's a different conversation and you don't realize how far you're away from end game until you're there and you look back. Yes. You don't realize it. Like you're like, Oh, you know, my champions can't get that much better. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. no. <laughs> man. I remember I was trying to do uh what was it stage 19, 19 or 20. And um, like all my artifacts were like level 10. <laughs> and I was just, I don't know why I can't beat I this. World, I, I, I got the same stats everyone else does. I don't understand. You know? And then I realized, <laughs> oh, they got maxed artifacts. Oh, no wonder, <laughs> right? That was a huge difference. You know, your stats look the same, but you start putting that artifact on there, and that is a huge difference. I mean, you know, you can look in the breakdown and actually see the addition of the artifact stuff, you know, once you look at the full thing. But it, it's, mm -hmm. I, I didn't realize how much additional boost that gives to each uh, hero, you know, uh, or, yeah. or just changing the artifact, right? Uh, just because, it's, you know, a hero, I mean, uh, an artifact may be higher level than another one, uh, but another one gives you a different type of ability, man. I have changed up artifacts that have completely changed the way I used a hero completely uh for mm, instance um norse scary. norse will right for uh Olar. i never use I, I i was not using that i am just recently bu building that i i i remember uh, some guy Fire. came on the uh the ch uh, the stream one time and was like you know hey don't you got norse will i was like what i only, only got epic i mean i only got the red stuff here bro i don't play around with that you know <laughs> i ain't got stuff for that I'm following here. I'm got that. Man, was I wrong? <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> it's funny though. That's that's yeah. a good point too. Like I do like how easy they give you a lot of champions that make the game um accessible from every era. You may not have the meta defining champion, but now you have Abomination, which is fusible. If you play the game, you can get a champion that's a defender, can do a decent amount of damage. It can get you to at least B or maybe even A in in Conquer Code so you can get more rewards. Like right. you know, like Mari, what do you get her like day three? You get her really early, right? Get yeah, really yes. day, day 20 may, it may be three it's, it's really early yeah. first week I you, think. Get her, you get her really early and when i first got i was like she doesn't do damage i don't like her no she's not damage. <laughs> she yeah. slows yeah. everything down so your damage dealers have a chance and i love it <laughs> and you know one of the things about uh mari that a lot of people uh overlook is that uh vulnerability um mm -hmm. you know um Wait. in my forerunner for the longest time i was using her my guild ball team because of the vulnerability and I remember mm -hmm. the people were like, dude, why do you got Mari in there? Mari sucks, blah, blah, blah. And it was like, she Look. sucks for damage, but I'm not using that her for damage. I'm using her vulnerability. And that 20% vulnerability makes everybody else's damage a lot more, right? So it's just exactly. cumulative, however you say the word, all together, <laughs> right? It was, <laughs> it, 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 it was more, right? <laughs> yeah. Facts, facts. As long as, that's le as long as that's safe on your end, bro, I just saw that on the screen. <laughs> What? Oh, you seen this right here? It says his account is logged in oh, on a login. device. Oh shit, my bad. I was trying to log in with uh, my forerunner here because I was wanting to pull up. Oh, I'm looking forward to this content is good already, but we're cooking. <laughs> I was pulling this up because I was wanting to bring up uh where is it? Where is it? The new stuff. Oh, I know where no, you're headed. There. Um is it Great. No, everything popped up on me. You gotta All swipe right, it. Calm down. Calm down. I know, right? I, welcome back. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. At least it's not all ads. At least it's not all ads. That's yeah. that's great, Shadow Legends. Sweet Lord. Where uh where am I missing this, man? Where is it at? It's, it's not raids. Um, are you looking for Odyssey? Yeah. Bottom middle. No, not the Odyssey. I'm sorry. The new uh the new boss, new weekly guild boss. Oh, I'm um, gonna do guild. Guild. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Here he is. Here. No? What the hell? Oh, they might have had it temporary on Forerunner. Interesting. Was it just temporary? I thought it was there for the full time. I think they were just using it to test. Interesting. God, oh, so never mind. Time. I'm retarded. I haven't swapped accounts. Hold on. <laughs> it happens, bro. No it's wonder. all good. No wonder. I want to say, wasn't there interesting? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, dude, I swore I saw it. <laughs> I swear, I swear, this giant robot boss was here a minute ago. <laughs> the glitch in the matrix. <laughs> oh, good shit. Right. That was rich, man. <laughs> Even like you're leading into this, like I love the fact that this is a thing that is coming. This is the first year of the game. Yes, it's the first, first year, year early, one. and it's fun. <laughs> like it you is. know, I will say too. I will say when I first started playing Hydra and Raid, I'm gonna always relate to this because it's the closest thing you can correlate to it. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. Hydra was very challenging. It wasn't very fun until you had the right champions. This one doesn't feel overtuned, so it still feels fun. I think that's a world of a difference to me. Like I like playing against the boss. And I was like, yeah, it hits like a truck. Sure, it doesn't one shot my team with every hit. And I yes. have to have this one champion or I can't play it. That's a different story. Like, I like the fact that this is an option here. The boss is so so dope. Yeah, he looks freaking cool, man. He really does. He really does. I can't like wait for them to put more uh, assets in the folder for us content creators because I'm, I'm going to be Look, all about this guy here. Brady. He also looks like a boss from Elden Ring. That's why I really like it. So I'm like, oh, this would be fun. <laughs> we go against the, the foot of this guy and try to beat him. <laughs> I really, speaking of which, uh, funny, it actually reminded me of a, um, e even the gameplay actually reminded me of a, oh, excuse me, Jesus, uh, sorry, uh, reminded me of uh, God of War battle, you know what I mean? Remember the battles yeah. where you would fight like a titan or whatever? That's what it reminded me of, man. I yes. was like, that's going to yes. be cool looking. Yes, and but, it's fun. Like it's the, and it's cool because like the mechanics are really interesting. I'm still figuring out what champions do what. You know, you can test out all these really cool ideas. There's metas out there, sure, but it's so early that there's not there's a lot of stuff that has not been explored yet. That's the the, the thing about this that I think is so exciting. 
Um, now, granted, mm -hmm. all, um, you know, my 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 forerunner here is a baby. I don't I don't have all the heroes and stuff uh, yeah. that I do on my main. So so I don't I don't even have like a full blown guild boss uh team really. Yeah. But what I do enjoy about this is it forces you not only to use one team, but you got to build a whole secondary team, and you Some just gotta part. come up with stuff, man. <laughs> like Some everybody's having part. different stuff. And it locks out the teams. It locks out the champions after you use them. So yes. you really have to think of actual strategies, not just, hey, I got three Rotos. So I got two Trundas. Let me go ahead and just knock out these oh, things. Look at this dude. Keep going. Screw this guy. Bro, I, I, really thought, I, I really thought he used, what's the name, when I saw it show up just now on the screen when it's loading the asset. I was like, you did not use him. <laughs> Lies. Lies. <laughs> oh, yeah. Man, I wish, dude. Uh, some of these guys on Forerunner got stupid sick accounts, man. They and this is really just cool, cool to stuff. see this. Like, to see, like, yeah, there's some teams that are kind of like the meta teams, but you see just how varied the teams are. Yeah, you got, like, your lords that are in common. But there's a sure, really sure. big versatility of champion. Like, there's Valderon, you got your Twin Fiends in there, you got your Racha comps, you got Leia and Haras as the leaders. I mean, like, this team even got so... Helga in here, you know? Yeah, the teams that are so varied, and I can't wait till she comes out. I think she's going to be a fusion, so I cannot yeah, wait for that. Yeah, yeah. Like, look at all of these different options that people are coming up with because they're allowed to think about innovative champions again, innovative teams again. I love that. That I makes it, it great because somebody just used Orum. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> they use Orum in this boss. Like, come on, man. What kind? Of, like, you know nobody was gonna plan on using Orum. Look at the look at the bangle. Look at that, it's a level here. That's a snack bangle. That's not, that's for the straight purposes. Uh, come on. You know that's I love it, man. I love it. That's the good stuff. You can tell he's like me, man. That's that's early, early, early they count, right? Flip that man and put him in the battle. That's all he did. Put the flip in the battle. That's it. Uh, but, but that that's what it is, though, man. It's, it, it's forcing you to use people you wouldn't normally use, and um, that that's what this is all about, man. I, I really think that that has been a big um killer of a lot of games like this. A lot of these gotcha type of games is that once you get the meta. Like there's there's no reason mm. to playing anymore because you can just do everything and beat everything, you know. And well, oh, we got a new uh, banner coming out, but nobody cares because I've already got all the best heroes, right? So this mm. it, it 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 changes that it forces that to not exist. You always have to be looking for something new, something different, something that synergizes mm. with somebody else, right? That's good. That's good. That's a good point. Like I I do like that. Um, I like the innovation of stuff like this because. And also, I will say what I love is that it's not a paywall to it. It's just yes. more content they're throwing into the game. There is no price point for this right here. It's like, no, nah, maybe maybe there will be a time where you could buy more keys later. Sure, sure. But there's no entry here other than tapping the button. <laughs> like, yeah. I'm yeah, cool yeah. with that. Like, let me strategize and think of stuff. Yeah, the meta's going to come eventually, but... Man, the meta and my team could be far away from each other, and I can still do a great job in this content. Well, and you if think I'm about it, you know, think about your your guild boss, right? And, and when you were at the, let me go back here. I'm just right here at the guild boss. Mm -hmm. Think about when you were back here on the easy oh, and normal. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. You were fighting these, and you were just getting two and three, you know, boxes, and you were like, man, I'm gonna work my way. It took a long ass time before you were up here. 40 30 40 50 thousand blood on a single run you know what i mean that's true like it took true. some time and i'm looking at this and i get excited because even though it's just two i'm sure there's more that's coming but it, it, it's just like this is a long piece of content to come right yeah this is not something you're going to come in here and just knock out this is a long piece of content this is exactly. this is going to be fun now you're thinking about lord bonuses. Now you're thinking about oh, you know, champions yeah. that never call those combinations. Now you're thinking about champions that do something very often. You're like, can I build them just for this battle? And also, since you have the gear plan now, you can just swap the gear on for it, run it, and then... Right, yeah. Like, these are all things that make the game enjoyable when you're still in the mode of problem solving. And I say the mode of problem solving because... You know, if you get in the habit of just looking up strategies, just looking up other people's content, it's going to be difficult for you to enjoy the game for yourself because you haven't taken a moment to find out what you have, what makes what you do unique, your new take on it, your new take. Like the Nassault thing, for example, happened because somebody said, let me try Nassault and Guild Boss. 
There yeah, was nobody making new. content about this first. There's nobody talking about nobody. it. This person experimented and came up with something that got people to 50k for a couple of days. Like that's great. <laughs> yeah, that was awesome. Like shout out to whoever the hell that was. Stuff. You know. Yeah, I recommend that's... people try stuff out. Like this is the game. The game gives you a great chance to do all kinds of crazy stuff in it. Give it a shot. You'd be surprised what champion you had that thought was terrible, and now they're like. Awesome. Well, Nizot was bugged, but you know, then they're awesome. But he was also great in um the Boreas Conqueror. So yeah, Boreas yeah, was, yeah, so. yeah, yeah, yeah. And too. I think it still will be right. I, I was looking at that a second yeah, ago. The, the Codex bosses because those are coming too. We got another mm-hmm. what another day or so. I think like two days. I cannot out. wait. I cannot wait. Yeah. So we're gonna yeah. get the well forerunner here. I guess what well, is That's it always the same? Yeah. Sometimes I think it's different. But we're getting the Arbiter Frost, Lord Styx, and the Conqueror. And those are always yeah, fun, think, man. Those are always fun. I think we get healer, Sokadence, and sticks this rotation. I think I could be wrong, but I know at least two of those, right? Y'all could check. <laughs> All right, cool, man. Cool. Those are always good, though. But I, I, and again, that's the same thing. Is the Immortal Codex come around? It's not the same bosses every single time, you know. And I mean, this ain't even been out that long, and it seems like every time it comes around, we got a new boss. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? Like. Uh, give it another six months. How many bosses are we going to have, right? Uh, you know, uh, what are all the new different tactics mm. we can do, right? Yeah. Uh, are they going to come back out with another one of those Praetis bosses? Remember that? That was Man. freaking cool. Where in the middle of battle, you could, oh, let me let me do this or let me do that buff, right? That shit was crazy. And I will say, too, you know what's funny? As much as I don't, I will say I do dislike the poison adjustment because it's changed yeah. completely. But I love the idea of thinking of that now against the Praetis boss. Because you only brought like one poisoner in and that stuff. You weren't thinking of like you were not saying, let me bring five poisoners in for a poison conference. <laughs> right. You were not thinking that because right. it just didn't make any sense. And then you had yeah. to get the cards and stuff. Now you're thinking of a viable build because you could bring multiple champions in that have that and get the benefit out of it. Yeah, it's a little bit weaker than it used to be, but that's also dependent on the HP they added. The HP was already low, it wasn't doing anything for you anyway. We're just mm-hmm. thinking about like guild boss, you know, in cases like that where it's good, or like um gear dungeon three where it's useful, sure. But overall, it's gonna help more of your heroes than just a few of them that were able to do stuff with. And if you still wanted the OG, there's a oh there's an uncommon champion named Liam that still has it. Uncommon. Yeah, yeah. He's for sale. Not in this game <laughs> shop, in the Dwarven Association. Yeah. He, comes, he comes with the freaking cart. You can accidentally find him. He's like always in him. here, man. He's always in the shop. He's not in there this time. He's on lunch break. But he's always <laughs> in the shop. <laughs> he's on night Easy shift. He's on night shift. That's it. <laughs> I figured well, I'll try, try to get a couple, man. Uh, yeah, like, I, I love how simple. No <laughs> I know, right? He tried to find him. <laughs> I I tried, he's he said 30 minutes is 30 minutes. But... <laughs> But like, you know, see, I, I, I love um, that how easy that stuff is to get. Yeah. I love how is. easy it is. Like, there he is right there. One of the easiest champions to get in the game. And yeah, you can still use him for the content that you thought he was great in. You only use him for gear, gear rate three. Let's be honest. You still can. Yeah. Yeah. Still can. Yeah. 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 And, awesome. and, I mean, I've used him there. That's, he's not even built. It's just because mm-hmm. of, of the neurotoxin, right? You know, the, the old poison, so to speak. Yeah, OG um, poison. That's it. Yeah, OG poison. Yeah. <laughs> hey, yeah I think about that. It, it I think about fun, that you know? kind of stuff because yeah, I think about that kind of stuff because I wonder, like I always think like, you know, when they make gotcha games, one of the things gotcha games is notorious for is kneecapping the players. You know, yeah. making stuff really impossible and then selling you the solution. In this case, it's what's funny. What's funny about this game is they give you the solution before the problem. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like you got Edith before Gear Dungeon Two. You got um, <laughs> who else? Like you got um, there's a couple of them. I know that was one in particular that always stood out for me. Um, you got what was it? Gwendolyn was good for some other content also, but there's a handful of them. But that was one I remember. Um, you're getting Dahlia before the new content that comes out for her. Yeah. That's going to be great for her. Um, you got Magmus before Gear Dungeon Two. He's awesome. He actually is really oh, good yeah, at Gear Dungeon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, because of the burst damage he does is really nice. Um, they make it to where you could get these guys. Like you got Captain Rev as an option before the Conquer Code. It actually came out way back then, but then it came back again. But like you know, all of these things are available for you to come in here and dominate this stuff. Um, but you know, don't don't take the hot take of this champion's awful. Don't go for him. No, a week later, you might be regretting. I still want you to use weird heroes in weird places, oh, yeah. man. 
The <laughs> only reason I beat Gear Raid 1 Stage 21 is because I use Captain Reef. See? Captain, Captain Reef, Reef slowed him beam. down enough for my mages to destroy him. You know what That's I mean? That's actually a good point. That's actually a really good point. Because he's got, his slows are incredible. Yeah, they really are. They really yeah. are. And then, you know, um, I don't have to do know. I have to see. Look, uh, let me see if I can find him on here. It's something about, I forget exactly what it says, but something about um, all the kills. Yeah, right here. Oh, For every four enemy that is killed, damage. increases attack speed by 10 permanently, up to 100. Like, every time somebody dies, this dude's getting faster and faster and yeah. faster. And fa and something like Gear Raid 1, where you're getting a thousand guys coming at you, like, this dude works phenomenal. And, and, and it's if one I'm of those things where... A part of his kit heals him automatically, too. So, like... Yeah, it's just one of those things, like, if, if you would have never... Uh, yeah, right there, restores 3% of max HP. If you would have never seen somebody do that, you probably would have never thought about that, right? Oh, I would have mm -hmm. put a ground unit, man. He's going to get destroyed, blah, blah, blah. A right? defender, right? But, a defender. Yeah, 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 of all things. Like, like, I know, man, I'm trying to do damage. Why would you put a defender down? But <sighs> game changer. <laughs> Game changer, man. You just you got to try weird stuff. You know what I mean? That's yeah. Like, you got to try heroes Dude. out of place, and and it does crazy stuff. It really does, man. And it's the best feeling when you figure out how to solve a problem without having, without really, without using the three champions you thought you needed, and you solve the problem yourself. It's the best feeling in the world. Oh yeah, it was like uh, this morning, man. I was on a uh, on a on a stream, and I was doing um uh, void rift, and mm -hmm. uh, uh, I was having an issue with these guys coming out of the top corner. And, uh, you know, I was putting Zilla 2 down. I was trying to put a Silas. I was putting all these high-end heroes and trying to just just smack the hell out of them, man. And nothing was working. And That's then how it usually starts? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> somebody came on and was like, why don't you put Gluttony up there? I'm like, Gluttony, bro. I don't... Gluttony? Why don't I put Gluttony up there? And then, I'll be damn, man. He's got that, you know, you put him up there with some tank gear. And he has that execute. The boy handled mm -hmm. business better than any you know, of my Legos. You say that? Gluttony, just, just on a random thing here, just so random. Gluttony is so slept on. I use him now in um, Conqueror Codex. I use him now oh, because as really? you awaken him, he can hit up to eight targets at a time, yeah. which is nuts. He does a ton That's of cute. damage during that, and then he does the eat every so often. So he does a ton of freaking yeah, damage. He <laughs> He's always eating, man. Go gluttony. I don't exactly. think I have him on this one, do I? I might have just got him. I think, yeah, there we go. There he is. Big red. Just got him. <laughs> this dude, yeah, it's straight slept on him. I didn't start using yeah. him until the end game account. You know what I mean? That that dude, he's a, yeah. he's a game I mean, changer for real. And it's, it's crazy. When you see him do his attacks, he's attacking. It looks like abomination because he's yeah. hitting the big attacks, hitting the big attacks, hitting the big attacks, and it's, it's nuts. It gets crazy. And it says yeah, five, five yeah. and then when you awaken him, you could do three more. I think it's like awaken three, maybe. Um, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. How do I remember this? Because I use him a lot. <laughs> <laughs> you sleep on it, man. <laughs> and have an extended Good. attack range, like. Oh great. yeah, man. Great. <laughs> this dude, this dude is just insane. I really like his kit, but it's just one of those guys <laughs> that I would have never thought about it if somebody didn't randomly say some shit to me. I, mm -hmm. I never looked at this guy. I mean, uh, to be honest, there, there's a ton of these guys uh, down here that look cool and all, like like her. Never, yeah. never planned on using oh Jorge. I, never planned on using. I can't wait to use Jorge. I've heard good things about Jorge. Kalina, not I've so heard... much because she's, she's a bloody snuggle bear, but she's here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm waiting. I'm waiting for a place to use her and her. These are going to be yeah. my two next ones. I want to do something with. I don't know what I'm going to do. I don't know how good they're going to be, but I don't you know what's funny. <laughs> I mean, I know, I know what's going to happen. They're going to have like something like, you know, if you crit hit an enemy, it does 75% less damage or something. And then Kalina's going to be good because you don't have to worry about the crit because she can't crit. So you can throw old <laughs> right? gear on her and she's just still good. <laughs> <laughs> I know this was, that's going to be the case. I'm they did the same something. thing There's in the There's got to be a use, man. There's got to be a, a technique to use her in a way that like just breaks the game or something you know what i mean there's got to be a technique with her i don't they know what the it same is yet thing in raid with um i think it's like tolf the maimed um he can't crit but what's funny is like they never made content for him so he just exists <laughs> <laughs> they never made something he's good at it just sucks to be i think it's a void champion like a void epic too so it's just he's terrible. just hanging out <laughs> like, he's just like hanging hey guys, out I'm, he ain't got no hands he has just blades for hand he looks like he lost <laughs> battles 
His name is Tolf the Maimed. He's a victim. <laughs> He's a victim. <laughs> Bro, is a victim right here. Professional terrible, victim. Bro. He just shows up like, hey, guys, it's I got beat up. Professional victim. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's good stuff. Uh, but this is good though, man. This is good. I think we got a, I think we got a lot of content coming out. I think we've got a lot of yeah. positive things about the content. I think we have some adjustments that need to be made. Sure. Um, you know, like I, I've heard a lot of people getting upset about uh for instance the Titanic stuff uh from from, mm. from here. Talking about the um the rewards. The rewards are not the best yet. And you oh know, bro, I, I want y'all to I want y'all to look at these rewards. Eight random items that's eight that's number one go go to the yeah. top chest in the second one just go to it just so they can see what it totals out to um yeah. oh, i'm sorry um that's eight in the low one go to the top chest on the second difficulty oh, just go to the other difficulty. Yeah. yeah look at this oh 15. yeah 15. 15. imagine that's getting another level i mean you won't you won't get this but imagine getting 15 of all uh, 40 exclusives or whatever like just like I mean, I know that's not going to be the case, but look, like you get sure. recast hammers, you get you get all kinds of summons, you get an increase of those um those little spirit things that allow you to awaken your gear and stuff like that. Like you get all of these options if you you know you scale up and you play this content. But even not, you still get eight if you're yeah. beating the high yeah. levels on the first version. Like come on, like, that's and see what, the thing is, it's all this piles is weekly. up. Yeah, and that's and that's exactly and that's not the bottom rewards too. You still get those two for beating the boss. There's another yeah, chest. You still get the bare minimums. <laughs> and, and the thing is, guys, is I, I mean, I, I think that they're going to uh, make changes to to the rewards yeah. as they go, just like they always do, just like they did with Void yeah. Rift. You know what I mean? They'll add this and they'll subtract that based on you know how things are going or whatnot. But to say that they're flat garbage, I, I gotta disagree, man. I, I yeah, gotta disagree. I have to. It's way I'll, too early. I mean, honestly, the content is not out yet. It's way too early to say yeah. the content isn't good. Yeah, yeah, it, it just really it, it's is. It's very man. difficult to have an opinion when you literally don't even know. Like, you watching videos and making like it's it's way too early. Trust me I, when I say I played it. I love playing against this boss, yes. and that's all. Awesome. That's like mechanics are fun. It doesn't feel overtuned, and we do know what an overtuned boss feels like when you play the game. Sticks was an example. They fixed that. This boss does not feel overtuned. Yeah, the no, stuff you're seeing is really awesome, but don't forget, on Forerunner, people have been playing this game for two years. They have yeah. a really big head start on you and resources, rewards, all of that. So you're going to see crazy-looking teams, but when this thing hits global, there's going to be people that's going to be using the salt again. I promise. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. Absolutely. I mean, look look at all these basic right. heroes that got in here, man. You know what I mean? This is, yeah. um, for, this is my first guild boss team, which is... I'm still working on that. <laughs> Cold. <laughs> but uh but yeah no that's what i was just saying you know the state of the game is i think is doing pretty good um i think that there's been complaints out there about a lot of the new content but i think a lot of it is just misfounded you know um i, I think yeah. people's expectations are not on par with where the content currently is I, I think that people think that when content comes out within the first week they should be able to beat it or almost beat it and that's not what this game is about this game is not releasing content that you can beat in the first week. If that's the case, yeah. you're either then you watching, get more. yeah, you're either watching way too many videos or you're buying way too much stuff from the store. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. What's gonna happen if you if you always think that you're gonna get bored and then you're gonna go back to the conversation of this game doesn't have enough content? It has yeah. plenty of content if you try it, but if you just watch to some wait till somebody beats it and then play it yourself, you know I understand that is the case. Not not the people who do that. But you can't do that and then also say the game doesn't have blah, blah, blah. When that's, you're pressing the, the fast forward button on everything that exists. Like, take a moment. Learn what your champs do. Like, check out their kits. Like, I didn't know that Disomi had inspiration, increased defense, removes debuffs, and does heals in the same freaking kit. I didn't know all of that until I looked at her and looked at it. And I said, you know what? Let me try my healer codex. And my score went up two freaking letters. Like, that is something you have to experiment. A champion, that, not even a healer. Let's be real. It's a supporter. Yeah. I yeah. said that about um, Carnelian. I said, Carnelian is <laughs> not a healer. She waits until you get down to 30% health and decides to step in. <laughs> she's Almost not a, a healer. Bro. She's a watcher. She's, she's an enabler. She's watcher. She is the watcher. <laughs> she's an enabler, bro. She's the watcher. I mean, it's just like, a, like Gluttony, man. I've had Gluttony forever. 
never used yeah. it never even looked at his kit and i was like eh, who cares you know but it was just one of those things like you spend some time or, or hell somebody did somebody spent some time looking into his kit and when he recommended him to me i was like wow like because vierna is my favorite hero in the world. game favorite hero in the game yeah I had no idea there was That's another so person. That's funny how different our contrast is on that. That's actually a good yeah. point. Very good point. <laughs> I didn't even right, build guys. it when I got it. That's how terrible it was. Oh, yeah. All right, guys. <laughs> we'll wrap this video up. I think we've had a great conversation about some of the content in the game, about where yeah. it's going, about some of the issues that do exist, because everybody's going to have issues. All these games are going to have some issues, but, you know, things are working on it. Uh, I think we've mm -hmm. talked about the community a little bit. And we've also kind of talked about some of the uh, strategies or, or, or how to look for strategies in the game, right? How to look for brand new heroes outside the meta and come up with your own strategy that can work for you, right? Mm -hmm. It's necessary. It's essential it in a game like this to be able to take a moment, enjoy the content, think of some problem solving skills. I think it's great. The more time you put into the game, the more you're going to enjoy it. You keep pressing the fast forward button, eventually you're going to get tired. But take a moment, enjoy the content. If you get crappy summons, try again next week, too. <laughs> That's it, man. It's going to be, gonna be on next week. <laughs> it can get good. It can get really good and keep at it. I'm, I'm, I'm telling you, it can. <laughs> all right guys I, I, i've been very blessed to have such a phenomenal content creator on my channel with me today make sure and go no no the like, pressure's all mine bro the pressure's <laughs> all mine hey, and, and this guy like i said he he is all about i mean he does just great content all the way through but if you want to know something about demon soldiers you want to know something about dvg you want to know something about how to dominate with those guys check this guy's channel out i'll put his link in the description and we'll go from there guys till next time <laughs> hey fuck out if you enjoyed that video, guys, check out my channel here or my latest video here. Till next time, APOC out.